YouTube, what is up? It is Diaris here. Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a while since I posted anything, but with everything that's going on, um, it's kind of hard to do that. So uh, that's why today I kind of want to do something different. As you know, around the world, we all are very isolated um, or supposed to be. Now, as we all know, photographers really, really love being behind the camera, not in front of the lens. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I do love taking photos, I do love taking selfies, but in the comfort of my cell phone or somebody else's phone, not in front of a professional camera, because when you get in front of a professional camera, it's kind of like this switch kind of switches on where you have to start posing right, start modeling, and start trying to look decent. And that's where a lot of us are kind of like, you know, we get a little nervous and kind of scared of stepping into that zone. And that's kind of how I was about this because I've always thought about doing a self-portrait series, but I don't know, I never really pushed myself and I gotta give it up, you know, to YouTube. YouTube is like allowing me to try different things because I wanna give out new different content to you guys, but also, you know, for myself as well. Um, and then, you know, with everything that's going on, there's really not a lot that I can do. And I just want to, you know, pick up my camera and start shooting something. And I said, you know what, why not just shoot myself? Oh my God. Not in that way. Y you know what way I'm talking about. But yeah, so that's what I did today. What I did was I turned this room into my own photo studio. It was very quick, very cheap, and very easy to do. Now we'll go ahead and allow you guys to see some of the things that I've used. Um, all the different props and you know my backdrops and all that and I'll have a link to some of those items in the description below so that means if you're gonna take the time to actually go into my description and look for those links you can take the time to like this video and subscribe being a model is not as easy as I thought it would be you know a lot of us probably think oh as long as you're attractive you're pretty or you know how to dress well that's it your pictures is good you're gonna get a whole bunch of likes. You know, modeling agencies are gonna call you. No, 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 that's that's not true. It's actually pretty hard and kind of nerve-wracking. God damn it. Bro, this sucks. Yeah, so I gotta give it up to them, you know? It, it takes a lot of effort, you know? Um, it, it takes effort on both sides, you know? The people behind the camera and the people in front. So, you know, everyone is working together and everyone has their own different skill sets. Now, I don't think I'm a model, but hey, I didn't really have anybody else to shoot. And yeah, I saw a lot of other creators doing a lot of self-portraits in isolation. Um, and you know, some people have like this amazing house and, and they have like cool living rooms and cool kitchens and stuff. And they're, you know, everything just looks good. But I, right now I'm staying in this land room or whatever. Uh, this, is, this is just a place I'm staying at until um, everything clears up. And I move up to Nashville to start working for my contract company work out there. I don't know why that was so hard to get out. Now, I didn't want to just make this video just because of me taking self portraits, but also kind of let you guys know that you can be in the safety of your home and you can have your own photo shoot. Now, you can either do a self portrait or somebody else in the house. You can do some practice shots with them, or maybe you can set something up with, I don't know, some type of props, or um, I've seen people use like some beer bottles or soda cans and they just set something up there to do like some product photography. You know, get a small little table, get the light shining out, and bam. But I wanna show you guys that it is very cheap to create your own studio here. All right guys, so let's talk about some of the cheap things that you can use to kind of make your own home studio and then save money. So the first thing is you definitely wanna have a backdrop stand. Okay, now if you have a cool wall, you know, with cool coloring, perfect. You don't need this, so you can skip these two steps. But if you do want to have your own backdrops and you know you want to provide different types, then you would definitely need a backdrop stand. Now, this backdrop stand right here, it's uh, it's 
boy here. Um, I got this off of Amazon for about $35. Um, very cheap and it is um, eight feet in height and 10 feet wide. So you can actually, you know, get some very, very um, good uses out of this um, with like the sizes of your backdrops and your subjects. Like you can at least fit maybe two, three people in it. I think three would be the max. Um, you know, of course, if you kind of get them close together. But yeah, no, this is very, very good backdrop, very cheap. And it's only 35 bucks. The next thing, now that you have your backdrop stand, then you need a backdrop. So I have a couple different types of backdrops. Uh, for this particular home shoot here, I'm using this red uh, fabric here that I got. Now, where did I get this? I got this from Walmart. Got it from Walmart, very cheap. All you have to do is go to your local Walmart, find their uh, cloth like material section, I believe, um, and it's huge. Like you'll be able to find so many different types and so many different colors and patterns there. Whatever you want to use for your shoot, basically go ahead and choose one. Have one of the store clerks here basically go ahead and cut it up to you know how wide or how high you want it to be, and bam, you have your very own backdrop that you can use whenever you want to. You know, you won't have to continuously rent out a studio for that particular look of that backdrop. You'll have it in, you know, your possession. So that's cheap there. Um, and I think, you know, I mean, you can pay anywhere from like 14 to maybe $50, you know, depending on the size that you wanted it. Okay. So now, as you see here, you know, as I'm setting up the stand and the backdrop here in this small ass room, um, as you can see, the backdrop is very wrinkled. Now for this, I got this portable, portable steamer. I'll show you guys. This bad boy here. Got this from Amazon here. I think this was like, this is 20 bucks. 20 bucks here. Um, very small, you know, you just fill it up with water there and plug it in and that's it. And then you can just go ahead and iron out your backdrop. Once you got all that set up, the main thing, maybe this should have been number one, but the main thing is you need to have good lighting, okay? So if you're someone who don't have the funds to pay for an expensive light, an expensive light stand, um, a soft box, um, that can cost you a couple hundred, you know? Um, and you know, some people don't have that. So the best light that you can use in your house is the natural light. So I have this big old window here. Um, the sun comes in um, and even when the sunlight doesn't come in, it's still so bright outside that, that it kind of lights up my room, um, although it is getting a little bit darker now. But um, yeah, natural light is probably the best way to go. And you can play around with different lights and different shadows. Like if you have the lights coming through your blinds, you can play around with that. So for instance, like if you're doing a self-portrait, um, you can have yourself stand in front of the window and have kind of the shade coming in from those blinds and give you those, those strips of light you know, coming on your face or whatever subject that you're shooting. All right, so now once you have your backdrop, your backdrop stand, your light, you're pretty much good to go. But let's say you want to spice up the picture a little bit. Um, you know, if, if you're not going out, you're not going out to the store, just look around your house, you might find some cool props that you can put in. So with one of the shoots there, I use a coffee mug. Yeah, it made no sense, but it was something, I don't know, interesting that I can kind of be creative with and use for my shoot. So I used the coffee mug there. Um, and then I have these, these fairy lights that people might them call, but they're not called fairy lights. The actual name is the Tiotronics. Um, and so these are the Tiotronics here. These are the fairy lights, whatever you want to call them here. Um, and they're pretty convenient here. I got these from Amazon for only $9, very cheap. Um, and very cool to play with and especially if you want to like, you know, spice up your shoots or use this for some type of night, night photography shoot. Um, these little guys are pretty good to have. So, and then I, I also had this leaf, um, that big old leaf that I have. Um, I actually got that from Target. Um, I just went to, I don't know, some aisle that had like a whole bunch of these fake flowers and leaves and plants, whatever, and I just picked up one and I think it was around like $8 as well, so it wasn't even that bad. If you are thinking of, you know, doing a self-portrait, um, it might be kind of hard to do that, right? Because you don't have anybody there to help you out. So, what you need to do, you need to download an app on your phone, depending on what type of um, camera company that you have. So since I shoot with Fuji, I use the Fuji Film 
cam remote. And it's pretty cool here, you'll be able to choose live shooting and basically from the palm of your hand, you'll be able to see what your camera is seeing. First of all, in real time, you'll be able to change your ISO, your shutter speed, um, your f-stop, all from this app. And then all you have to do is click on the button to take a picture and bam, there you go. So if you are doing a self-portrait and you're doing it by yourself, like I did, this comes in handy very much. So yeah, anyway guys, I hope you thought that was helpful for those of you who do need it. I know there's so many other creators out here who have explained everything that I have in a much better fashion, but hey, you gotta start somewhere. I just started this YouTube gig, I guess, I don't know, three months now, I think. So I definitely can't wait to see where this channel is a year from now and what I'll be providing and you know, and where you guys will be. All right guys, well that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this was a pretty cool, fun thing to do today and I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, like I said, the links to the items that I presented in the video will be in the description below and you better like this video, all right? Make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below. Let me hear your thoughts on my pictures. Hey, you can say they're bad. I mean, I'm, I'm all right. I'm not the model here. I'm the photographer, so, you know, I, I ain't mad if you're judging. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's it for me today. As always, keep the dreams alive. Peace.